Ukraine and its allies drummed up support to protect Ukrainian cities from Russian missiles at a conference in Berlin on June 11 and urged international businesses to put their faith and billions of dollars into post-war reconstruction. Kyiv hopes the recovery conference will cement its credentials as a future member of the European Union that is worthy of huge injections of reconstruction financing, even as Russian forces continue to make slow advances in Ukraine's east. Switzerland will host an international conference this weekend to seek a path to peace in Ukraine, but it has been shunned by China and dismissed as a waste of time by Russia, which was not invited to attend. Speaking alongside German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia had already wiped out enough energy infrastructure to power the cities of Berlin and Munich combined. He was hoping to come away from the conference with pledges of billions of euros for defense and agreements on building a new and more modern energy system. Ukraine is suffering from the most destructive form of the Russian view of energy as a weapon, Mr. Zelensky said. Citing World Bank estimates that Ukraine could need 500 billion US dollars, 676 billion Singapore dollars over a decade, Mr. Schultz said companies had to be offered a business case for investing and topped up Ukraine's potential in sectors, including renewables. IT and pharmaceuticals. He also said Germany was sending more air defense systems to bolster Ukraine's defenses against a barrage of Russian attacks on cities and critical infrastructure. More than two years after Russia launched a full-scale invasion. The best kind of reconstruction is the one that doesn't have to happen at all, he said. A Russian campaign of aerial bombardment that began in March has inflicted such heavy damage to generating capacity that blackouts are having to be scheduled across Ukraine. A flurry of diplomacy will have both Mr. Zelensky and Mr. Scholz attending a summit of the group of seven major Western powers in Italy this week. Asked what he expected of the conference in Switzerland, which aims to build support for Kyiv's peace proposals, Mr. Zelensky said the fact it was even happening was a result, as it was becoming harder to keep countries on site as war drags on. It is important not to hand over the initiative to Russia, he said. Because the Russian initiative had been demonstrated on the day of the full-scale invasion. Their vision is the occupation of our country. In a Reuters interview at the conference, the mayor of Ukraine's second city, Kharkiv, said Western weapons and the permission to use them to strike targets just inside Russia had helped to restore calm. Mr. Zelensky also addressed the German parliament during his visit, where his speech was boycotted by two parties, including the far-right alternative for Germany AFD, whose support surged in European elections last weekend. Speaking alongside Mr. Scholz and Mr. Zelensky, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen announced agreements with banks worth 1.4 billion euros, 2 billion Singapore dollars, to help attract private investment for Ukraine. She also said the EU would deliver 1.9 billion euros to Ukraine from its own assistance program by the end of the month, and that Kyiv would benefit from interest income from frozen Russian assets. Russian President Vladimir Putin must fail, and Ukraine must prevail, she said. And we must help Ukraine to rise from the ashes and to be the master of its own future. This means, first and foremost, that we must provide Ukraine with the means to defend itself. The Berlin Conference was tainted this week by the resignation of a top Ukrainian reconstruction official who said, systemic obstacles were making his job untenable. U.S. Special Envoy Penny Pritzker said commitments to rebuilding Ukraine were predicated upon having good stewardship by those who are managing the reconstruction efforts across the Ukrainian government. It's urgent to tackle the corruption, the customs evasion, the grey markets, she said.